Welcome back to Wheel and Command Pro Tips. In this episode, I'm going to talk about updating your firmware in CENCOM Core. So CENCOM Core hardware and WCX peripherals have the ability to have their firmware updated using the Wheel and Command software. And the way you do that is you connect your CENCOM Core to your computer and Wheel and Command will automatically check to see if your connected device has a firmware update available. You need to make sure that your device is also powered. So right now I'm going to connect a CENCOM core that's also connected to some Remote 16 expansions and it'll prompt me for a firmware update. So you see the command detected that there's a firmware update available for my devices. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. And that brings up the update firmware window. So in here we see there's updates available for four of my Remote 16 expansions that I've connected and I've powered to my CENCOM core. Um, if I click show details, it says what that firmware update is doing, and it says what that version number is on my device that it's going up to. And it also shows the current version of the firmware on my devices. It also shows any of my devices that are currently up to date. So my CENCOM core, its internal IO and the internal siren are already all up to date. If you happen to have a configuration open, the not connected section is going to show you any WeCanX devices that are not currently plugged in. It'll also tell you what the current firmware version is. And so you can make the educated decision on if you need to connect those devices and update them or not. The other devices section is going to show you the firmware version on our WeCan hardware. So that would be like your carbide and Cantrell, uh, things like that. But just note that those devices do not support updating the firmware through the update firmware window. This window is just where you can check to see what their firmware is if you need it for technical support or any other reason. And so coming back to the top, I can just click update all and it's going to update the firmware on all of my connected devices. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It also gives me a warning that says do not disconnect. Doing so may render your device inoperable. So it's important that if I'm going to update the firmware, I make sure that I do not power off my device or disconnect it as the message obviously said. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay. And now we see it's updating the firmware and it's doing the first one out of my four devices. I'm just going to skip to the end now where you'll see that the firmware update is complete. We can see that all of my devices successfully finished updating their firmware. So I'm going to go ahead and X out this window now. And you can also see that this window refreshed and says everything is now currently up to date. You can also manually check for firmware updates if you have your device connected. By coming into the W drop down and going to update firmware. That also brings up this window. That essentially covers everything you need to know about updating firmware in your CENCOM core and WCX peripherals. Thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more Wheel and Command Pro Tips.